So as you talked about hope, and I thought of your poem, a poem on hope, if you will read this. All right. It is hard to have hope. It is harder as you grow old. For hope must not depend on feeling good. And there is the dream of loneliness at absolute midnight. You also have withdrawn belief in the present reality of the future, which surely will surprise us. And hope is harder when it cannot come by prediction any more than by wishing. But stop dithering. The young ask the old to hope. What will you tell them? Tell them at least what you say to yourself. Because we have not made our lives to fit our places, the forests are ruined, the fields eroded, the streams polluted, the mountains overturned. Hope, then, to belong to your place by your own knowledge of what it is that no other place is, and by your caring for it as you care for no other place, this place that you belong to, though it is not yours, for what it was from the beginning and will be to the end. Belong to your place by knowledge of the others who are your neighbors in it. The old man, sick and poor, who comes like a heron to fish in the creek, and the fish in the creek, and the heron who man-like fishes for the fish in the creek, and the birds who sing in the trees in the silence of the fisherman and the heron, and the trees that keep the land they stand upon, as we too must keep it or die. This knowledge cannot be taken from you by power or by wealth. It will stop your ears to the powerful when they ask for your faith and to the wealthy when they ask for your land and your work. Answer with knowledge of the others who are here and how to be here with them. By this knowledge, make the sense you need to make. By it, stand in the dignity of good sense, whatever may follow. Speak to your fellow humans as your place has taught you to speak, as it has spoken to you. Speak its dialect as your old compatriots spoke it before they had heard a radio. Speak publicly what cannot be taught or learned in public. Listen privately, silently, to the voices that rise up from the pages of books and from your own heart. Be still and listen to the voices that belong to the stream banks and the trees and the open fields. There are songs and sayings that belong to this place by which it speaks for itself and no other. Found your hope then on the ground under your feet, your hope of heaven, let it rest on the ground underfoot. Be it lighted by the light that falls freely upon it after the darkness of the nights and the darkness of our ignorance and madness. Let it be lighted also by the light that is within you, which is the light of imagination. By it you see the likeness of people in other places to yourself in your place. It lights invariably the need for care toward other people, other creatures, in other places, as you would ask them for care toward your place 
and you. No place at last is better than the world. The world is no better than its places. Its places at last are no better than their people while their people continue in them. When the people make dark the light within them, the world darkens. <laughs> 